Hi, this is Keenan Maxfield. I am an instructor with Solar Energy International, SEI. I'm just going to show you a quick glimpse of Optics RE by Outback Power. And this here is a system of mine that's the home page, and you can see that they're producing 1.42 kilowatts of solar, and their load is 2.93 kilowatts. And you can see that again over here. And you can see their battery is at 77% and 51.7 volts. It is a nickel iron battery, by the way. And you can see their state of charge here. So it was dropping until it started rising again. It's been actually a pretty stormy day today, so I would normally like to see this go up higher than this, but oh well. You can see that we produced five. 0.4 kilowatt hours uh, during the two o'clock hour, or or maybe that's the I'm not sure if that's the one to two o'clock hour. Yeah, that would be during the one o'clock to two o'clock hour. And you can also see that the load that we used 3.7 kilowatt hours during the same time. You can also look at the status of different the inverter. It would pretty much just show if, if we used any from the grid or from the generator or from the load. Of course, we don't even have the grid here, but also see the charge controller. Just pinpoint the solar only. Or you can see from the FlexNet battery monitor, you can see this just enables all, all total ins and total outs. So you can see right now we're in the negative. We haven't quite produced what we've used for this hour. But then for these hours, we're in the positive and then we're back in the negative here. I can flip this to see all shunts or, or uh, current measuring devices independently. So the wind inverter, the windmill, the solar. So this, this little bit of power we got here was from the windmill of 1.9 kilowatt hours. This little part of the load here, and this is the load, and that's 4.32 kilowatt hours. So it makes it pretty nice. You can monitor all these things real time and also see the past. You can see week view, month view, etc. The other really, really cool thing about this is the control element. I can come up here and I can turn I can change the volt of what, which kind of um, charging state for the inverters and everything else. I can turn the generator on and off or just put it in auto mode. I can turn the inverter off, actually turn off the power to the system. So that's a new way of taking care of delinquent payers. <laughs> Don't take me seriously on that one. That would be pretty mean. Uh, you can tell it whether or not you want it to use the AC input. So like if you're connected to the grid but you don't want to use it for some reason, you can drop it versus use it. And you can also go to the device map. And you can see all the connected devices. We have two inverters, two charge controllers, and our FlexNet DC battery monitor, as well as our Mate 3. You can click on one of them. And you can see the status on the first page, but you can go ahead and change one of the output, or the, sorry, the set points. So I could go, say, say, to the battery charging, and if I say, oh, I want this to charge to a higher voltage, or to a lower voltage, I can change it right there. Now you might notice these voltages are pretty high. That's because it's a nickel iron battery set specific to the, to the set points for that battery. So you always want to check your battery spec sheet before setting the set points. And also, if you can, you can talk to the battery manufacturer or their nearest distributor that's a, a direct distributor. Because uh, sometimes they have additional insights that are not that are not in the spec sheet. But I can change the parameters on the AC input, the AC output, change the voltage, um, all kinds of stuff. Any set point in the entire system you can change from the air. 
I've had several customers who off grid who buy a new generator and maybe it's a smaller generator and the inverters when they kick in the when they switch over to the generator they will try to charge the battery but they'll put so much power into the battery that it actually overloads the generator kills the generator so then I've had to make a trip to the site to adjust it because they're and sometimes I can walk them through adjusting it over the phone but a lot of times they're not comfortable doing that or they get confused or they just want you to come out and check it anyways and so a site trip if they had this system in place I could have just clicked on the inverters this page gone to the AC input and gone down to which input it was and actually turned down the generator a input AC limit and then I would hit apply and then I would let's see exit and then I would do the same thing for the other inverter so if you clicked on the one inverter first you do the other one just adjust that limit call them back tell them to start the generator see if it runs and when it actually starts running they'll say wow I guess that was weird <laughs> uh, yeah so that's just a brief overview of the Optics RE by Outback and I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any more questions feel free to contact me have a great day goodbye